GTA 6 fans don't need to click on this, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're a Grand Theft Auto 6 fan. I'll be telling you about what's going on, what you need to know, and a whole lot more in this video today. So honestly, I only think it's a matter of time before Rockstar has to put out something like this, considering all the scams and spams that are going on surrounding GTA 6. Remember, when Grand Theft Auto 5 was out, the, the big thing for that game was like the early access beta and getting to play the game before everyone else. And that that was something that Rockstar kind of locked into and honed on to because they put out this thing that basically said, you know, there is no pre-order, early access, alpha, beta, whatever the case might be. And the only official news is going to be coming from us, Rockstar Games, at the Newswire. Again, they're probably going to have to do something like that for GTA 6 because I came across this very interesting article on 9to5Mac.com by Aaron Weichelis. Security Byte, this GTA 6 disguised Mac OS malware performs heist on keychain passwords. That's actually kind of a clever title putting in the word heist there. But anyways, even if you guys don't necessarily have like a Mac computer, whether that be like a desktop or whether that be like a laptop, I'm sure you might either have like an iPhone or a tablet. And so I'm assuming there's a good chunk of you that this will actually apply to. And so this is what the article has to say. During an analysis of various splinter examples of a noteworthy Mac OS stealer, security researchers at Moonlock discovered one with an alarming level of sophistication. Under the disguise of the unreleased video game GTA 6, once installed, the malware executes rather clever techniques to extract sensitive information such as passwords from a user's local keychain. In typical Security Byte fashion, here's the breakdown how it works, and how to stay safe. Going on to say, in a previous edition of Security Byte, malware especially made to target Mac OS continues to germinate in popularity as Mac grows in popularity. Last year, 21 new malware families were discovered in the wild, up 50%, from 2022. Despite this fact, there's still a common misconception that threat actors do not target Apple machines. While this may have been true in the past, it is certainly not the case today. Not only is the number of malware attacks increasing, but they are also becoming more sophisticated than ever. And so here's how it works. Moonlock, the cybersecurity division of MacPaw, found the new malware sample is a variant of a password stealing ware, or PSW, a type of Trojan malware designed to collect logins and passwords from infected machines and send them back to the threat actor via remote connection or email. The malware disguises itself as either an alleged copy of GTA 6 or a pirated version of Notion. This is a common social engineering trick that exploits trust by using familiar nomenclature to deceive users into downloading malware. Notably, all Macs come with a version of Mac OS Gatekeeper installed that works in the background to prevent users from downloading unassigned applications from the internet that could contain malware. A user, however, can override this security feature by simply right-clicking on the DMG file and hitting open. Cybercriminals exploit this ease by including a graphic instructing users on how to open the malicious file. Upon execution, the DMG unleashes a file named Apple App, and when executed, the payload uses a multifaceted approach to achieve its malicious objectives. In this order, phishing for credentials, targeting sensitive data, system profiling, and data exfiltration. Since a local keychain database is only accessible with a user's system password, the malware performs its second clever technique. It deploys a fake helper app installation window, further exploiting trust and tricking the user into revealing their password. The malware now begins to target keychain databases and many other sources of sensitive data. And this is the description of what it does. With precision, the malware hunts through system directories looking for valuable data such as cookies, form history, and login credentials from popular web browsers including Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge, Opera, and Opera GX. Additionally, it seeks the recent servers list from FileZilla, macOS keychain databases, and the wallets of cryptocurrencies. Moreover, using more sophisticated Apple scripts, the malware establishes a secret folder within the user's home directories, and here any logins, collected, passwords, and keys are stored to await extraction from the infected system to an external server controlled by the cyber criminal. So essentially what these cyber criminals are doing here is they're taking advantage of the extreme popularity of Grand Theft Auto 6 to potentially cost you extreme amounts of money, have all your passwords stolen. This can just cause so much distress so I wanted you guys to be aware of this. And the reason, obviously, they're targeting GTA 6 is because 
everyone is so interested in this game for every little bit of information, every little bit of screenshot. And if for whatever reason you suspiciously think, hey, GTA 6 is out, I can download it. Or maybe you're thinking, okay, Rockstar decided to do an early alpha or a beta phase for the game. And without even thinking about it, you might download it, put in your passwords, and at that point in time, you're pretty much screwed. So I know to many of you guys, this might seem obvious, but if this is able to help at least 1% of people not get scammed or not get hacked in this instance, Instance, then I will consider this video a success. Quick reminder, GTA 6 only has an official trailer and brief description by Rockstar Games, and as things currently stand, it is not coming out on computers, whether it be PC or Mac. Now, there's a good chance that it does sometime down the line come out for PCs, but I don't believe there's ever a, a Rockstar Games title that has come out specifically for Mac unless there's some program you can use in order to play it on one of those systems. So right now, if you see something like this, you can 100% guarantee that it is a spam. And the website goes on to say, while only about 6% of all malware targets Mac users, threat actors are actively targeting Mac OS now more than ever. And it's important to stay vigilant and continue to use common internet smarts and while you might know some of these tricks already, it's important to regurgitate them again in relation to Mac OS dealers. So do your due diligence before installing anything outside of the official Mac App Store. And under no circumstances should a user follow instructions to bypass Gatekeeper and exercise caution within any system prompts or requests for sensitive information. And keep your devices and applications up to date to protect against the latest threats and vulnerabilities. I know all that sounds obvious, but again, if this is able to help at least one person, then I will 100% consider this video a success. And we should honestly expect to see more stuff like this going forward. As the popularity of GTA 6 surges and as we get closer and closer to the game actually coming out, there will definitely be more of these sort of scam spams and attempts to hack users. So definitely be vigilant. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Or if you want to send an even longer message or possibly even a picture or a video, you can do so by reaching out on my Facebook page. You can find the link to that in the description of this video. Number one, are you on a Mac or do you have an Apple device in which this could impact you? And number two, have you seen something like this out there? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.